everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and this week's installment of money saving, time saving kitchen tips. Today I'm going to show you how you can bake a whole bunch of potatoes all at one time without overheating your kitchen in the slow cooker. How does this save you time? It saves you time because you don't have to babysit the potatoes and it saves you money because maybe you got a bag of potatoes that's growing some eyes. You just scrub those puppies up and let's bake them off and save them for something else. So let's go see how this all comes together. All right, so baking potatoes in the crock pot may be a foreign idea to you, but this is really a time saver and a money saver. Now, I always like to buy the jumbo uh, russet potatoes for baking. I use them to make potato wedges to go with meals. I also sometimes will use these as mashed potatoes. These are not my preferred go-to for a mashed potato, but for pretty much everything else, they're great. Also, these make excellent french fries. These make excellent homemade potato chips. And if you wanna see how we make those, then leave a comment down below and we'll try and get to those sometime soon. Um, but the jumbo russets, are about the size of my hand. They're a good handful, and a lot of times when I bake these in the oven, I like to do them at 450 degrees. And in the middle of summer, that is just absolutely not happening for me um, because it will make the house hot until midnight when the oven's heating um, up and then cooling off. So we wanna find a way that this is not gonna do that to our house. And with summer coming, this is a great alternative. Slow cooker can be set up in your carport, it can be set up on your covered deck, and you just plug it in and let your potatoes cook if it's a hot day, because you know a slow cooker can heat up your kitchen too. But the slow cooker uses a lot less energy than your large oven. It takes a lot of energy to heat up your oven, and then it takes a lot of energy while it's baking, so it could take an hour for your oven to heat up to 450 degrees, and it doesn't take the crock pot that long, and you are gonna be able to go multitask and do other things while your potatoes are baking. Not that you couldn't do that if they were in the oven, but this is going to just save you a lot of time and you're not going to have to think about it. Probably safe for two. I think it is too. I'm going to put these. I have taken eight rather large potatoes. This was the end of a bag and yes, some of them had some little eyes on them. I scrubbed them off really well and I rinsed them. I dried them with some paper towel and they've been sitting on the counter for a little while. So what you're going to want to do is... I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and I'm just going to coat the outside. Now, a baked potato cooked in the slow cooker is not going to have a crispy skin like one that's baked in the oven. So keep that in mind. However, I'm not going to be eating these as a baked potato. I'm going to be using these for something else. And basically, I want cooked potatoes. But if I wanted to have baked potatoes with my dinner tonight, I could definitely do that. So, and we may, who knows? But these are great. I love leftover baked potatoes to make um, home fries. I also love them to make homemade corned beef hash. And that is something we're going to be doing here in the next few days. So, I have a little bit of kosher salt. We're going to rub it in here. I love when I bake potatoes in the oven, I always coat them. I wet them down and I coat them with kosher salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sedged steak seasoning. You don't have to do this. And mostly I'm going to use these potatoes for something that I'm going to peel them for anyway. But while these cook, these are going to get permeated with the flavor of that steak seasoning and it's gonna really make your kitchen smell awesome too. And I'm just gonna lay them in the crock pot and I am gonna put some on the top. Now some people recommend that you don't do this but I don't have a problem with it. It smells great already. I mean, how can steak seasoning not smell great? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna set it on low and I'm gonna let it cook. About halfway through I'm gonna check them and at that time, I'll bring you back and I'll let you see what they look like. Okay, it's been, um, these cooked for about four and a half hours and these have been turned off for about two hours. But I just wanna show you how nice they are. They are very wet, but they are tender, but they're not mushy. The knife goes into them easily, but it has a little bit of resistance still. So they're gonna be really perfect 
for using in recipes, making hash browns. You could use these once they're completely cooled to make a potato salad with or make a German potato salad. You can use these any way you like. You could make hash browns with them. You could make home fries with them. You could cut these up and throw them in the deep fryer and make some really delicious french fries with them. So this is how I suggest you save time and money with your potatoes because when potatoes go on sale then sometimes we especially in the summer where I live potatoes can go bad really fast and I don't have room in a refrigerator to keep them plus it's not good to keep potatoes in the refrigerator because then the the starches um, turn sweet and nobody wants that so um, this is a really good way to make sure that you can cook up your potatoes and use them. I'm gonna be using these in another recipe very soon and I'll be sharing that with you. We're gonna be making some homemade corned beef hash using some of the corned beef that I have canned and that's gonna be perfect for our St. Patrick's Day week. So that's what we're gonna be using some of these for and others we're gonna be using for um, something else. So I'll be sure and let you know when I use them in a recipe. As far as storage, just go ahead and um, Put these in a Ziploc bag and put them in your fridge. Or you can put them in an airtight container, but you definitely want to go on and store these in your refrigerator. You should not freeze these. You should just keep them in your fridge and only cook what you think you're going to use in about seven to ten days. Also, you can reheat these and just eat them like a baked potato and they'll be lovely. So if you plan on that, you can use them for your lunch, take to work, and they'll be good to go. So I hope this uh, gave you some ideas about how you can save time and money cooking up some potatoes in the crock pot. If you never thought about cooking them in the crock pot, well now you know how you do it and maybe you can give it a try. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I want to thank you for joining me today so I could show you how I bake potatoes in the crock pot. If if you like the video please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you're not already please hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out whenever we upload a video and if you are already subscribed be sure and hit that bell notification button we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people real easy recipes that we present all the time right here from our kitchen and on our YouTube channel so I hope you give baking potatoes in your crock pot a try and I hope you love it and until next time I'll see ya